Hey guys, Pete here with Jaya Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to add the time zones layer to your leaflet web map, as well as changing the style of the time zone boundary and adding a layer control where you could toggle on and off this layer. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is get the code for the leaflet time zone. And what I did, I'm just using a Google search. I looked for leaflet time zone. And the first result uh, should be this GitHub page. And I'll leave the link in the description down below uh, for this link, just in case. So credit goes out to the folks who put together this code. Um, again, what this is, is just we're just overlaying the time zone. Um, vector layer on top of our leaflet web map. Um, if we come over here to the green button that says code, click the down arrow, and we get download the zip file. Okay, and in my downloads, what I'll do is just, I'm gonna right click onto that zip file and unzip it, or extract all. And that extracted folder, what I'm gonna do is, I can either copy or cut it, but I'll copy it this time and I'll paste it into the folder where I have my HTML code. Paste that. I'm using Microsoft Visual Studio. And what I'll do is find that folder. Right, my project folder, I should say is right here. So what we have here is my HTML as well as the extracted folder that I just downloaded. So the first thing we need to do is add this JavaScript file. So in the head, I'm going to add another script. And source equals, and what I'm gonna do is just right click onto this file and come down here to copy relative path. I'm gonna paste it between the double quotes right here. And then I'll close it off. Okay, and then in my body, I'm gonna add a piece of code directly from that GitHub page. So. I'll go back to the GitHub page. If I scroll down, we could add a, a pop-up with the time zone, and or we could also do with the world clock. So meaning if I click onto the map, I could get the, the actual time um, in addition to the time zone, the name. So let's go ahead and do that. So if I click over here onto the copy button, this is copied, and I'm gonna come back to my code, and I'll simply just paste that right here. So what it's saying is L time zones pop up, and it's gonna return the date, the name to the map. Okay, so I'll go ahead and save that, and I'll run that. And as there's by default, this is the size of the boundary and the color and the transparency. Now if I click onto any of these zones, I'll get the date, the time right now, and the zone. Okay, so we could change the style of this a little bit. We could change the opacity of the lines, the colors, and also if we want to toggle this on and off. So let's go and try that. So to change the color, what we want to do is come back up to our file folder here. We'll click once onto this JavaScript file. And as you can see right here, this is the default fill color, opacity, the line, the transparency. Say if I wanted a black, and I'll change the color here too. Say I wanted the weight uh, a little smaller, 
in less opacity, I would go and change or save the file here. And let's go ahead and refresh our map. And there we go. So our lines are a little bit thinner, opacity is less, and we changed it to black. Okay, so you can mess around with that. Now, if you wanted to have this as a layer where you could toggle on and off, is add a control layer. So what we'll do is add a couple variables, one for the base map and for the map data. So at the end here, let's go and do a variable for the base map equals, and we'll do a curly bracket and base map. Okay, so in the single uh, quotation, this is what's gonna appear on the map in the, um, in the control layer. So you could rename this to whatever makes the most sense. This the base map name is is ESRI world imagery, and I'm getting that from right here. And of course, yours might be different. Okay, so let's add another variable down below for map data. In this case, will be the time zones. So variable overlay maps equals look at the curly brackets. And again, in the single quotes, this is what I'm going to call it: is time zones. And my actual file is called time zones. Oops, time zones. Okay, and I do need to add another variable right up here where my L time zones. So let's do variable time zones equals, okay, so it's gonna reference that. Okay, then finally we'll add our control layer. So bl.control.layers. And mine are base maps, comma, overlay maps. Dot add to map. Okay, so let's go ahead and refresh that, and we'll refresh our map. And here is our control layer and the time zones, and I could check that on and off. All right, guys, so hope you guys found that useful. If you guys have any questions, by all means, please leave a comment down below. If you guys have any um, suggestions on future videos, I always appreciate that. Please leave that in the description down below. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. I try to put one out every week. And for those of you already subscribed, I greatly appreciate the support. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.